Hey all, Avros here, back with the next fight, the second of another set of three Lufania fights. This is the one for the Umbral Equinox Dusk Lufania. This fight is against two very annoying bosses, being that this is against two Erode Mantis. These bosses require a lot of control to handle effectively due to their tendency to hit hard and remove your buffs. This combined with a very annoying orb condition makes this require careful effort in planning and was the hardest fight to crack with Barts out of the three. So the orb for this one appears at 79% HP and does not disappear. It is an 8 count increased by plus 1 for every bravery less than 5000 after each turn, with a cap of plus 8 per turn and a top end of 20 count. They are also immune to paralysis, lock, sleep, confuse, terror, and their own fluke debuff, so no Yuffie shenanigans on this fight throwing their own potent HP poison back onto them. They have two major auras to worry about throughout the fight, a red aura and a grey aura that indicate different attacks are coming. The red aura will indicate that they will be attacking with homing flies or yellow drain, both are bravery attacks so no real threat, but the follow up on the second red turn of hit high wind, a guaranteed hit AoE bravery plus HP attack, or cross edge slash cross edge plus, a single target bravery plus HP attack, are more concerning and need tactics to deal with them in place. The Grey Aura on the other hand, also known as Starving Mode, that happens when the message Starving appears, will make them use Gluttony Sickle, a bravery gain into Dispel All of Your Buffs, AoE Bravery plus HP attack, that inflicts three turns of the Fluke debuff. This is the big thing to be cautious about during this quest. Additionally, the bosses will delay themselves and unleash Fluke 3 at 79% HP, and Fluke 5 at 49% HP, causing ticking HP damage each turn you take. So make sure you have healing to top up your party, and lastly, make sure you kill them simultaneously, as killing one before the other will heal the remaining one for 10% of his HP, which with a 60 turn quest is too tight to finish them off without a highly optimized team. So my strategy with this quest relied on a lot of testing and refining, and left me with a team of Garland, Cypher, and Barts. This is due to the incredible amount of reliance on delay for buff-heavy characters to have much of a chance against these bosses as Gluttony Sickle is basically a death sentence. Planning for the early turns was to delay with Garland after getting his LD up, and the same with Cypher as both have one turn delay on every attack. After the bosses had their first turns, I got Jack's LD call up as well as Futon's LD and swapped Barts out for Friend Cloud of Darkness for its BT effect and utilised Garland's BT. This happened to line up well with the bosses hitting 79% HP and the orbs spawning in, utilising an order with Garland of LD, Skill 1, Skill 1, EX, Skill 2, then the finisher, I got a lot of delays on the bosses as well as 2 million burst phase, in part to due to COD's follow up attacks after all of Garland's attacks during BT. After this, the rest of the fight is a matter of delaying with Cypher and Garland, making sure to make the most of COD's delays until she timed out around 49% HP left on each boss, and after the Flukes debuff ran out on all the party members, utilizing Iraha's call that was on Cypher to recover my party to near as much HP as possible to ensure that I made the HP damage requirement. I also saved Odin for during the last 10 turns when the bosses made it far up the track to look like they might actually get a turn, and to ensure the bravery plus HP damage caps were nice and high to ensure both bosses died simultaneously via an LD attack from any member of the party. On that note, thanks for watching, and if you'd like any further assistance with this fight, please ask in the comments down below, and enjoy the rest of the video. Shield. Oh, 